Hi everyone, it's Rax and welcome to another Diablo 4 guide. Yesterday we went over the Barbarian overview and today we're going to go over the Barbarian's special unique ability in Diablo 4, which is their arsenal system. Probably nobody better to share this guide with you than me because I wrote it. One thing is the press preview access was given to us, which was kind of a watered down version of Diablo 4 that we're able to make content on. We can only level to level 25, we only have one zone and we can only show three classes but it's plenty to understand most of what the arsenal system is. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that the arsenal system does is it lets you assign a specific weapon for every attack and it gives you additional bonuses. We'll cover this in full in a second. There's a second part called the technique slot. This unlocks at 15 via a quest, but you have to go to a different zone to do that quest chain and then learn all the stuff about that. Since we weren't able to access that zone in this version, we can't talk about the technique slot yet, but when we can, we'll update the guide. So let's jump in. How do we unlock the system? Well, it couldn't be easier. You just got to reach level 5. Kill some monsters, get to level 5, you'll have the arsenal system. When you open the expertise tab, you're going to see all the different weapon types in the game. There's seven of them, one-handed axe, maces, and swords, and then all the two-handed versions, and pole arms. And then they're going to start at rank 1 and you're gonna level up their powers all the way to rank 10. We just showed the rank 10 power and it scales up linearly. And they give you a bunch of different bonuses. Nothing too crazy, increased critical strike chance against injured enemies. It's double if you're wearing two one-handers. A lot of the times the two-handed ones are a little bit better. Um, doing damage to vulnerable enemies is really good. Um, getting more fury is always very good. And then when you do reach rank 10, you're gonna get an additional bonus. So whatever weapon you have assigned to the skill that you're using, this is the bonus you're going to get. So for example, if you're dual wielding a mace and a sword, you'll get each of these. If you're dual wielding, or if you're using two maces, you'll get this doubled. If you're using a two-handed axe, you'll get this row. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Technique slot, we already talked about that. We can't discuss that in this version. We'll update the guide later. So how exactly do you use this arsenal system? And this is probably the part that people are not going to quite understand. First thing is, if you read these powers, they're not super crazy. So when you're assigning a weapon, it's usually more important to just pick your best weapon. Just the weapon that does the most damage with the, the best attack speed that you're looking for and things like that. Rather than picking a weapon that you want to have the weapon bonus for. So as an example, if you have a mediocre two-handed mace, but you say, I really, really want the fury generation that this gives, and you find a really, really good sword with really high damage, you should just use the sword. Because the more damage on your weapon, especially while leveling up, is just better. So to summarize that in a, an easy-to-understand way, Think of the arsenal system, at least in the beginning, as just a nice bonus rather than something you should make like really conscious decisions on as far as, it, as far as the weapon powers. Just assign your highest DPS and weapons to your skills. Now, there's another very important thing to understand. When you have your big two-handed weapon assigned to the skill that you're using, whatever it is, whirlwind or upheaval, you're, you're attacking with upheaval with your big mace, let's say. Well the damage of your upheaval is based on the damage of the mace that you're holding. So since the weapon that you have assigned that you're holding is the one that's doing all the damage, the damage of the other three weapons that you're wearing, by the way, barbarians can wield four weapons, which is insane. The other three weapons that you're holding, the damage doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is their stats, because the stats do funnel in to the attacks that you do with the main weapon. So instead of walking through the game and finding four weapons with insanely high damage, it's better to find one weapon with insanely high damage while the other ones have really good stats to buff that one weapon. That's probably the critical thing that a lot of people are going to miss. So make sure that you have that in mind. So how do you level up the arsenal system? It's extremely easy. All you do is hit monsters. When you hit them, your XP goes up, you don't even have to kill them, and it will not gain any XP in PvP. So just hit monsters, and it's going to go up 
And as you're leveling up, um, you know, you're going to get new weapons all the time. They're, they're going to naturally level up. Another thing you might be wondering is, wow, okay, there's all these weapons, and I have to level them all from 1 to 10. How long is that going to take? Is that going to take like a million years? And the answer is no. Getting to level 10 with all, with all weapons is not very difficult. You're going to be able to do that even by a casual player. Um, it's just really not hard. Even if you have to take one day where you just walk around with a two-handed mace and just use it all day, um, it's not going to be too bad. So don't worry about leveling, the, leveling them all 1 to 10. You'll be able to do that no problem. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So that guide was short and sweet. So just as a quick recap, it's the arsenal system is the Barbarian's weapon specialization. They wield four weapons at the same time. All the powers scale linearly. They max out at 10, and then remember you get an additional power with it at rank 10. Uh, the technique slot comes at 15. Can't talk about it. It's not in the preview. We'll talk about that later. Um, assign your preferred weapon to the skills. And another thing I should have mentioned is Diablo 4, as you as you get higher DPS weapons, it'll kind of automatically try to pick them for you. Um, and it does a pretty good job of it, actually. But make sure you're paying attention, because if it picks incorrectly, then you're going to lose a lot of damage. You level up your weapon by hitting enemies, but not in PvP. And you mainly put one weapon on one damaging skill, and then the other ones become stat sticks to boost your primary weapon. Remember that. And then essentially you become like General Grievous from Star Wars and start destroying everything. So that was my guide on the Barbarian's arsenal system. Let me know what you guys thought. And next, I think we're, they just, the Diablo 4 just tweeted that tomorrow we're going to get a major announcement. I'm expecting it to be the release date, potentially the beta date, and maybe the pre-order info. I think it's all coming tomorrow. So it's going to be a very important day. Make a guide on that right when it comes out. And uh, then we'll start going into many more guides for Diablo 4. Thank you.